Welcome to TabletopBattle.com and our new banners. And we have the chart. Up the charts the are there and banners. So the um, homemade stuff is now replaced with some professional stuff. stuff. We're homemade. getting uh, pros. We're beginning to. We're becoming pros. We're becoming pros. Yeah. Um, anywho, this is Damon and I'm Swain. Yep. And we are now going to play the uh, Fall of Corregidor. Corregidor. Uh, started December 1941 and ended in May, was it? Yeah. May 1942. They were holding it for five months. Yeah. Uh, while the Japanese only had a 50 day window to take the Philippine Islands, they were stuck. Though uh, it can be argued from several different people that we've talked to and uh, uh, who's actually helped us try to create as close historically uh, correct scenario as possible that the US and Filipino forces could have held this island indefinitely. But so choices were made uh, at the time that apparently was the wrong choices, but there's nothing we can do that in hindsight. Although I will try. <laughs> I'll try to stem the tide. It's a very large Japanese force. I have uh, around 1500 points and you have around 700. Yep, that's correct. Yep, we will get back to that uh, in a while. Uh, the terrain. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, the first off, should we just mention that uh, in this game, this is very important, yep. we are going to auction off this uh, Shinhuto Chiha tank. Tank? Um, more about that when I introduce the forces. Uh, but the point is that uh, it can be argued if there were tanks uh, in this battle. In this battle, at the Battle of Corregidor. There were tanks in the Battle of the Philippines. Yes. Uh, but Actually, the first tank on tank battle between the yeah, US and was Japanese. was in the Philippines. Yeah. Between, uh, amongst others, uh, the Shinoto Chihai and the uh, M3 uh, Stuart. Yeah, so we have one destroyed M3 Stuart here to symbolize that. Um, and uh, so, so if you if you do a Wikipedia search, you will find a lot of uh, both correct and uh, missing information. Uh, we have several historians that's helped us out as best so they can. Thank you very much to those guys. Yeah, but we're stuck with the forces that we actually have available. Uh, we can only have so much. I mean, there's not indefinite space in the science basement yet. Uh, so this is the best we can do, trying to recreate the Battle of Corregidor and the final holdout for the American and Filipino forces. Yeah. And when using <clears throat> the army list for the Japanese, there is a uh, scenario or theater selector called uh, Corregidor, the Fall of Corregidor, which allows the Type 97. And for the Americans, we've used uh, Guadalcanal. Yeah, because there is no uh, 1941 uh, list. Defense of Corregidor. No. So we used the uh, 1942 Godal Canal like we did with the, the Wake uh, mission and Guam. So bear with us if you uh, have any complaints you can always post a comment and we will try to ignore them. <laughs> no we don't ignore people. We don't. We actually answer most of the comments. We are good guys. We try to be. Yeah. Unless we're gaming. Well then I'm not a good guy. Actually I, you, you've improved me. Thank you. Um, anywho, terrain. Uh, a walkthrough of the table is due. We'll start at this end. Uh, when the Japanese made landfall, uh, the first one of the first thing they things they got to were uh, an airfield. Uh, so this tower will represent uh, that the airfield was uh, further down uh, the island. Mm -hmm. uh, they later were pushed back to their first defensive position. The U.S. Yes. Uh, which were promptly uh, overrun and they were pushed further back. Back? Back to back uh, to this point where they will now be defending. Yeah, what is this blue thing? Uh, the blue thing is uh, water uh, encased by impassable terrain uh, just because we can go into the water and it looks better. Uh, basically the, I the island that we're on had uh, narrow corridors where the Americans made their stand uh, to limit the number of the forces the Japanese could send in that particular area. So if you look at uh, Wikipedia that you mentioned there is also a nice map. Yeah, that, that shows the first defensive position, the airfield, and the secondary defensive position. Uh, this defensive position uh, where the US forces will be deployed this, uh, is the, where the, they the, surrendered the, eventually. This means, check the link below. Yeah. And this was the defensive position you were pointing at, while yeah. I were pointing at my own finger. Yeah. 
and that that is the last point that the U.S. forces held before they officially uh, surrender, at least according to the Wikipedia page. Yeah, but uh, he will be back. He will be back. Um, terrain. Other than that, uh, of course, buildings are buildings. Yeah. Uh, hardcover for uh, sandbags and uh, wooden obstacles. Yep. Uh, trees are trees. Uh, we'll stick with the same rules as we always have. One mm -hmm. inch in. Yeah, we think it's a nice rule. It's a nice rule. Uh, impassable terrain all over. Yep. No swimming for tanks or infantry. Uh, eye candy. Yep. Eye candy. Destroyed uh, naval guns. Uh, these were entrenched uh, positions that the US and Filipino forces had to defend the island, but they were uh, one of the targets for the Japanese army to either destroy or capture. Uh, in this case, they're destroyed to make for nice flickering eye candy. Yes, flickering uh, lights, and they will, uh, or they will, I will also post a link to where you can get them. Yeah, they are awesome. Call these creations. Uh, we have two howitzers uh, just outside of the U.S. deployment zone. Uh, these will be uh, two of the three mission object objectives for Sweden. Uh One victory point and one victory point. Uh, so two possible breach. Yeah. And uh, important, they are not operational. No, uh, the crews run off. <laughs> they have withdrawn to <laughs> the final withdrawn. line. Yeah. Uh, if uh, Sign has any forces within three, and none of mine are within three, he captures them uh, at round six, possibly round seven. Yeah. Uh, and if he has more victory points than me, he wins. If he uh, annihilates me, he wins. And a third option, my HQ uh, will be stationed in this building. He will not be leaving. Uh, if Sein can assault uh, this building uh, through the door in the front and survive one round of combat with him, uh, my HQ counts as captured and the US forces automatically surrender. Uh, is that MacArthur? No, that's not MacArthur. Uh, is it McDamon? <laughs> it's McDamon. I'm not a burger. <laughs> uh, bunker, bunker, bunker. Yep. Six is to hit whatever's inside and six is to kill. Well, they provide... They provide uh, hard, hard, cover? hard cover. Yeah, and six is to kill. Yeah. So it can be seven to yeah. hit what's inside. Uh, Eye candy, eye candy, eye candy, but of course if I have a unit behind, they provide hardcover. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. So this is the uh, line that the US is going to defend against my 60 infantry. Going to run up this uh, narrow corridor facing heavy machine gun fire, medium machine gun fire, lots of rifles. And you even have a steward. I have a steward. It's so tiny compared to what we usually play in our friendly games. Yep. Where I feel like fireflies, no, what am I saying? Hellcats and Pershings. Yeah, you are cheesy. Um, <laughs> any who time. should Ooh. we present the forces for you? Present the forces, give the camera. You was first. And representing the US defense of uh, Corregidor, we have a first lieutenant uh, commanded uh, by Paul H. Uh, he is armed with a uh, rifle and so is his uh, second in command. Uh, we have a inexperienced M3 steward. Uh, no commander on this one uh, as I don't want any of you guys to get killed and I'm guessing it will die fairly quickly. Uh, 37 millimeter uh, anti-tank gun, M3, uh, commanded by uh, Mr. Schaefer. Uh, this is a regular unit. Uh, medium machine gun, Gunnery Sergeant Bill Blaine, also a regular unit. The Simons have the only veteran unit of the game, again. Uh, these are the Filipino uh, scouts uh, represented as a veteran engineer squad. Uh, there is a one NCO uh, with rifle and seven infantry with uh, a rifle. We have representing the US Army, Sergeant Tyro. Uh, we have six uh, guys uh, sporting rifles. We have an NCO with a 
uh, rifle and we have one BAR and a copy of that unit is copied by Commander Drax uh, same uh, same status on both these, these are both regular uh, US Marines uh, here commanded by and he thought it was funny because we can't pronounce Italian so Giglio and you can let me know if that's great or not these are US Marines uh, same as the US Army unit uh, we have six guys with the rifles NCO with rifle and one BAR and that concludes uh, the, <laughs> the limited forces I have to defend against the masses of Japanese infantry and tanks and rifles that you will get to look at right now. Ha! I fooled you! And oh my god, I forgot something. I also have a heavy machine gun. Charlie, you're in command. Do your work. And for the Japanese forces we have a second lieutenant, a regular, this is uh, one guy with sword, meaning he has two attacks, tough fighter, and two guys with submachine gun, actually represented with submachine guns. Uh, all units in the Japanese army are regulars, so if I forget to mention it, you know it. And just so that everyone also know, he is uh, using uh, uh, two, uh, two uh, reinforcement tools. Just to point out that the Americans and Filipinos were totally overwhelmed. Yeah. Did you say how many points you have? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, it's uh, roughly 750 ish. Yeah. Yeah. Versus uh, about 15, 1600. 1500 uh, square, I think. Okay, so first lieutenant, then we have two similar 15 man squads with one light machine gun in each. So these are Banzai! And commanding one of them is Hitman, the fourth, we think. Still with us. Still with us, but he is uh, on his last... Uh, last... Life? Comeback. Comeback? Yeah. So if he gets uh, annihilated today, he will not return. So. I, have, I have so many commanders, there's bound to be casualties. I will try to keep you alive though. <laughs> I'm counting on sign zero doing his thing. Yeah, we have zero. Uh, anyway, that's two 15-man squads, one light machine gun and loader, of course, so 13 guys with rifles. Then we have the Air Force Observer. <laughs> Cue evil laughter. Uh, he's gonna call in this plane and hopefully I will not roll a 1. I do not roll 1s. Ever. Anyway, this guy is actually painted by uh, Celia, Damon's wife. And I thought they were nice with the white, so I included them. And also this anti-tank rifle team, painted by Celia, Damon's wife. Still. Still. For some reason I don't understand. Nope, me, me neither. So that's an Air Force Observer, or Airplane Disaster. <laughs> and an anti-tank rifle team. We have a light mortar team, which I have found to be very nice units to use. And then we have the uh, Type 72 uh, infantry gun. Uh, this is a uh, low velocity, or not, not low velocity, it has a small amount of ammunition. No, it no, has... It's low velocity, I think. No, no, it's, uh, it's a small uh, war, small amount of... Exp oh my god, it has <laughs> not so much you, you power. You just keep doing what you're doing and I'll find out. No, no, it has not so much... Uh, <laughs> gunpowder in the shell so it's plus three penetration instead of plus four dude you guys cannot complain about me calling the craters mortar wounds when you're listening to this guy i'm not that bad um anywho that's a type 72 uh, infantry gun with a gun shield and three guys then we have the special guest of the game not brooks but he has the honor of commanding it this is the tank that we are going to auction off after this battle. And I trust you have seen the review of the Type 97 Shinhutu Chiha, which is this tank. This is the one we are going to auction off in support of our War Veterans Project. You can 
check the link in the description field below. Okay, that's the first reinforced platoon. And then over to the second reinforced platoon. The same, we, uh, the same as the first one, we have a uh, second lieutenant with uh, two extra guys. They have submachine guns, not depicted here, but I didn't have the models. So, with sword and two submachine guns. Then we have two similar 50-man squads, 15, not 50, 15 man squads with light machine gun and loader and 13 rifles. This one is commanded by Blaney. Um, so they will also take part in my Banzai action. Then we have the artillery forward observer. <laughs> no. Artillery forward observer which will hopefully not mess up. Then we have <coughs> a medium machine gun team. A light mortar team again, and another uh, Shinhuto Chiha Type 97 light uh, tank, only 15 tons, but it has a medium anti tank gun, though, armor value of 8. Though the book lists, is, lists it as, as, as a, a medium. medium tank. Yeah, uh, but uh, if you compare it with the contemporary tanks, it would be a light tank. This is commanded by Cormac. This tank is actually painted by Damon also. But uh, compared to the one we are going to auction off, this has the time correct colors. But for me, Damon did a shitty job. <laughs> Thank you. Anywho, that is the second reinforced platoon. All units are regular, like I said. Um, and uh, we will now begin with uh, turn one. one. Yep. Uh, so, happy wargaming. We'll be right back. And we are ready with round one and with a die. German. Oh wait, no, we will playing too much. With a Japanese die. <laughs> Japanese die. I got the first Do one. Do me a solid. Turn it like behind you, down or off or up. Up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Down. There you go. Much better. Better. Yep. Okay. Uh, first order die of the game is Commander Brooks. He is going to put a fire order on the tank that we are going to auction off. And this is not a rigged drawing. This was an actual drawing. <laughs> we don't. All right. First of all, we don't. We can't draw, and we don't rig the dice pulling. No, that's very important. We don't. We never rig. We just pull them off camera so that you don't have to see that. And wait for us, clapping and blabbering and talking. That's me. We okay. do enough of that. Yeah. Anyway, Commander Brooks has a clear line of sight. Of course, these are the things that we uh, also check. check. But so that you can see, he has a clear line of sight from our Shinhutu Chiha Type 97, which you are going to auction off, painted by Damon, and the proceeds going to the War Veterans Project. Yes. It's long range, mm -hmm. hitting only 4 plus. Yeah, no cover, and uh, we decided that the uh, even though it can have the recon rule, it's not available for the tank for this game. Correct. So, regular hitting on 3, long range hitting on 4. Correct. So here's the 4. That's a 1. I didn't roll once. This was for your air observer, right? I spent it now. Yes. Good one. 